Sapphire, that's the Sensex for you. Working up a little bit above 20,000 once again. 200 points shaved off right now, just about 1% lower. We've got a whole host of uh, mid-cap movers also, but one particular stock that you need to focus on right now is uh, Philips Carbon. Uh, the Q2 net profit was down uh, to about 24.3 odd crores versus 32.3 odd crores last time around. Let's get in the management this time around to talk a little bit more on what exactly these numbers mean. Mr. Sanjeev Goenka now joins us uh, with uh, a perspective on what uh, happened this quarter. Mr. Goenka, you've seen a decline in your PAT numbers. What were the reasons for the same? Uh, see, the tax has actually gone up by about 6 to 7 crores. And we've shifted from MAT to a full paying tax situation. Mm -hmm. And that's made a huge difference. If you see the PBT level, mm -hmm. it's actually just gone down by 2.6 crores. That is fundamentally driven by uh, lower realizations of uh, power. Mm -hmm. And uh, last year, same time, average realizations of power per unit were 4.1. Uh, this year, they're about 2.8. Hmm. What what has uh, the quarter been like in terms of volumes, your order book positions right now? Very, very strong. Uh, volumes have been uh, very smartly up. They were at around 50,000 tons last year. They're at about 60,000 tons uh, this year. So uh, volumes have gone up, production has gone up, and uh, order book looks extremely healthy. <coughs> Mr. Gunga, what about the prices of your key raw materials, that's carbon black feedstock, which are currently uh, sort of directly proportional at this time, uh, point in time to crude oil prices. How are you looking at uh, the rising input cost, uh, you know, uh, stability in the near future? Well, the prices have gone up in the last quarter and we expect to have an increase in the price of carbon black this quarter. There is generally a one quarter delay in between price increase of raw material and the price increase of the finished good. So we expect to pass on this price increase to the tire industry this quarter. And I'm guessing Mr. Goenka, good afternoon, this is Nita Jair. I'm guessing that uh, that shouldn't be a problem considering the kind of demand that exists in that space. Uh, uh, is, is business traction looking very good for the foreseeable future, the next two or three quarters? Very good actually. Demand is very buoyant. And, and what about uh, the fact that you're also opening a new plant at Cochin, a second plant at Mundra. When do these begin operations? And I mean, do they start both, contributing to your financials in the next year Mundra, itself? Mundra and Cochin should both get commissioned within the last quarter of this financial year. So they will both actually be slightly ahead of schedule. All right. Which okay, great. So I'm guessing that that would show a bit of a bump up on in the next year's revenues. Okay. One one question, Mr. Goenka. What about uh, power generation? Because I believe close to 10% of revenues come from that segment. How has that performed in the quarter? Well, uh, in terms of uh, generation, we've done well. In terms of realizations, it's actually gone a little lower, because as you probably are aware, power tariffs across the country in the power exchange have been a little lower compared to the same period last year. Hmm. Mr. Gwenka, also could you comment a little bit uh, on the CBFS aspect of it? Have you gained this time for, uh, due to the dollar fluctuations? You know, our foreign exchange position is completely covered. So we are, uh, we are not exposed to either gain or loss on foreign exchange. Hmm. Mr. Gwenka, what about the new plant that you're planning to set up at Cochin and your second plant in Mundra as well? What are the capacity expansions that we can see in the near future? Cochin is going to be a power plant, which is going to be a 10 megawatt power plant. And Mundra is an additional 50,000 tons of carbon black, uh, both which, of which should get commissioned within uh, the first quarter of the next calendar year or the last quarter of this fiscal year. Right. And what's the update on your Vietnam JV project? By when uh, can we expect Vietnam the project, project completion? Well, we've now got all the clearances from the Vietnam government and we are in possession of the land completely. We are now proceeding uh, very strongly in terms of dialogue with uh, the financial institutions and banks. We expect to get to financial close in the next three to six months and uh, we should start work immediately thereafter. Great, Mr. Goenka. Thanks so much for joining in the, and giving us your perspective on those numbers and all the best for the quarters ahead. That's uh, Philips Carbon Black uh, speaking post the numbers. A bit of an uptick while the management was speaking to us. Uh, 212 is where the stock is trading at this point of time. What's uh, 
doing well aside of uh, well mid cap pharma and mid cap banking are a couple of these pseudo real estate players